What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. You guys know every Christmas I start going in on uh, some of the brothers here that I don't like so much. And uh, one of them, unfortunately, that I do not like, I will never like him, is Donovan Dustatius Sharp. Okay. I don't like Donovan Sharp and uh, it's not because of what he sounds like. It's not because he likes white women or anything like that. I am a pro black. I'm, you know, I don't like uh, the selling out part, but I don't even have an issue with those uh, tenets of his behavior or his beliefs. But I believe Donovan Sharp is a very bad person. Uh, there's a lot of elements of him uh, scamming people, you know, he even scam his own father. He's been to jail on check fraud, all of these things, right? I'm not going to use his real name. I'm not going to do that, but um, that is Donovan. Donovan came into the black sector uh, because he was a brother right on the, the returns of Kings. And I felt that his input would be something that would be important. Unfortunately, Donovan defected from the brother pill over to the white sector. The issue is that Donovan is not a team player. And most of us as men, you know, sometimes we want to be the guy so bad when that ain't what God called you to be. You know, like the old man you said about Baptist preachers in the black church, he said, with preachers, you got two kind. Some was sent and some went. And when he says those that were sent, but sent by God and some went on their own. And leaders are typically sent. It's something that's in you, not on you. It's in you to lead. It's in you to direct. But Donovan wants to be a leader. And he can't lead himself out of a wet paper bag. And I'm going to tell you why. He, he wants to be a black guy. Largely accepted by whites. And he's completely disrespected the community in which he is actually from to the behest of the whites. And you know, me and other brothers have stayed in the community and we have stayed being loyal to the brothers that have supported us thus far. No, we don't have the largest channels on planet Earth, but I'm happy with what we got. But when you look at Donovan Sharp, he went to war with uh, Anthony Johnson at 21 convention. He was exposed as a person that was lying. And what has Donovan Sharp's career turn to now well let's look at his youtube page he has 173,000 subscribers not bad not bad at all 56 million channel views not bad at all but now look at his profile it's him he has his white wife there of course she looks a lot more attractive here on this thing but if we look at his views look at the views he's getting 573 views by the time a video comes out more than that right now currently is 492 views 400 784 views donovan is having a hard time even cracking 1000 views want to know why because donovan sharp is nobody to be taken seriously in the red pill and guys know it he's a laughing stock in the community to most people I'm not even in the manosphere anymore. When I was, I was in the black manosphere, which I still have a, a great deal of love and respect for that community. But Donovan is a joke, okay? That's how people see him. As a person who did not tell the truth, as a person who is lying, now look at what his channel's like. If you even go to the live streams, he can't even get people to watch his lives. He's lucky if he can even crack 6,000 views with the channel that has 173,000 subscribers. My question to Donovan is this, how did hating on black people help you, Donovan? How did it help you? How did it help you? What did it do for you? You are nowhere closer to where you wanted to be. They don't respect you at all. You went over there and you tried to take over their stuff and then they let you know what time it was, which I would consider the good old wake up call. And 
That is what I'm talking about. This is what you've got. The new wake up call. And you're trying to appeal to a group of people who have clearly shown that what you have to offer ain't good. Ain't good. It ain't good enough. You're nowhere in the same market as the fresh and fits of the world. And you've collaborated with everybody, met everybody, and still they don't want nothing to do with you. You're the odd man out. Want to know why, man? Because you got exposed. A con artist can only con so much before the con is over. And let's get it straight here, Donovan. It is over. It is over. It's all the way over. You need to accept it for what it is. And you've had a problem mentioning guys like myself. Guess what I'm never doing? Fighting for views, having a dead channel. I'm never arguing about that. That's what you do, bro. Not me. Because I stayed in my lane. I never got involved into the white guy stuff over there. I'm going to be honest. That's why I never had really no real serious beef with the guys in the white manosphere. Never had any problems over there. Never. They've never heard a peep out of me. Want to know why? I didn't get in their business like you. See, you got in their business, bro. And they had to punish you for that. But they never had to worry about that with me, did they? Hell no, they didn't. They had to worry about it with yo ass. Now, look at you. Look at you. You got the chick that uh, I guess you... I won't even say the one that you wanted. I'm going to say the one that you could probably get, right? They don't take you seriously. None of your subscribers take you seriously. Guess who is still going strong? The black guys. Why? Because we were able to try to still work with the people in our community. No disrespect to anybody of another race. But that is what we were willing to do. What about you? You tried to sell everybody out, go over there and dust it all the way up. Now look at you now. Now you're over there struggling. You're dusty, crusty, musty, and rusty. And let me just say this, man. A lot of people feel, this is not me being mean. I'm just saying, you're not serious. You're not anybody to be taken seriously. In the red pill community, you are a hypocrite. You tell guys not to go and marry single moms. And what do you do? You go and marry a single mom lie and says she's not a single mom then the people go out there and find out that she is a single mom she goes along with the lie and then people find out that you know what you are lying now your credibility is shot let's look at some of the courses that this guy tries to sell that's the most funniest part to me this guy actually tries to sell consultations can you believe it let's see if we can find some shall we okay he has uh let me see the tsr academy this is this is even interesting here. Let's look at this academy here. He has books he can sell, which I don't know why anybody would buy that, right? He has courses, the ultimate S guide test, all of these things, which are a joke, by the way. The guy doesn't even follow his own advice. Now you're broke. Guess what? You can get a one on one video consultation for $225. Who in the f would pay you that? Let's be serious here, bro. Who? Why? So, guys, what do you think it's your bullshit, dude Jackson? Back at it again. With another episode of the Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for you just heard the bell. We're out.